Welcome to the Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences at the University of Pretoria. You have made an excellent choice to pursue your studies here in the faculty we affectionately refer to as NAS. Thousands of students before you have made the same choice and they are still reaping the rewards. We are looking forward to sharing your journey towards your first degree. Congratulations on making it this far to the starting line. You are one of the few that were selected to attend the premier university on the continent. And the opportunity before you is one that will change your life in many ways, some of them unexpected. The friendships that you forge in the next three or four years are likely to last you a lifetime. So choose well and be good to one another. At UP, you will realize that campus is a very diverse place and you are likely to encounter old and new ideas, some of which you may like and some of which you may not like. The key here is to develop the skills not just to navigate this diversity, but to realize that there is extraordinary power in this collective diversity. The problems facing our world, the really big problems like COVID-19, poverty, climate change, inequality, hunger, other diseases, just to name a few, will not be solved by disciplinary experts working in isolation. The progress that we have already made and the progress that we need to make will come from diverse teams that work together and that understand the value and power of collective knowledge. This opportunity that lies before you comes with a responsibility. Obviously, there is the personal responsibility that you need to take to engage with your work study material and to progress. More about that a bit later. But the bigger picture responsibility that I want to refer to is the responsibility that comes from being a UP alumnus. The next three or four years, or even longer if you choose to pursue postgraduate studies, will pass quickly. And then you need to find your way in a world that is likely to look different to the one that you studied in. Luckily, you will have tools and skills that others don't have. And it will be up to you to build the diverse teams that will continue our progress towards addressing the existential challenges of our time. 2020 was the hottest year on record, or tied for second place depending on the method. We have heard about limiting global warming to 2 degrees. Well, we now stand at 1.84 degrees, so time is running out to act in a meaningful manner. As a UP alumnus, your ability to think and problem solve will be key contributions to this global effort. Tackle the next three or four years with this sense of mission that lies before you. On this journey towards your degree, you are not alone. The faculty has a large team of excellent academics and professional staff whose sole purpose is to help you to excel. Do your part, engage with these people, and you will be successful. As a quick introduction, here are some of the team members that will help you. We have the Faculty Executive Committee, chaired by myself. Then we've got the Deputy Dean for Teaching and Learning, Professor Paulette Bloomer. We've got the Deputy Dean for Research and Postgrad Education, Professor Vinesh Maharaj. Then we have the Acting Faculty Manager, Ms. Jessica Samuels. Then we have the Head of Faculty Student Administration, Ms. Mishloti Mkachwa. Then we have our Faculty Accountant, Ms. Jawanti Pillay. And then we have our Human Resources Business Partner for the Faculty, Ms. Nontando Hadebe. The Heads of the Departments, I'll leave the names up to you to read, but we have the Head of Department of Actuarial Science, Agricultural Economics, Extension and Rural Development, Department of Animal Science, and on the right-hand side, Biochemistry, Genetics and Microbiology. Then we have um, the Head of Department of Consumer and Food Sciences, the Head of Department of Geography, Geoinformatics and Meteorology, of Geology and Mathematics and Applied Mathematics. Then we have the Department of Physics, the Plant and Soil Sciences, Department of Statistics, Zoology and Entomology, Departments of Anatomy and Physiology, which we share with the Faculty of Health Sciences. And then we have the Head of the Department of Chemistry. As you can see, this is a diverse faculty a large number of departments. I'm sure you will find your way and your interest reflected somewhere here. We also have a large number of faculty student advisors and be careful to take note of their names. These are the people that will assist you on a day-to-day -day basis with many of your study queries, challenges, problems and solutions. We have two faculty student advisors responsible for biological and agricultural sciences, Ms. Dolly Ayop and Ms. Rebecca Fulbeck. Then we have faculty student advisors responsible for mathematical and physical science degrees, Dr. Mpo Mahdi and Ms. Chandra Dreyer. Then we have the ISFAP program manager, Ms. Maxine Chown. Then we have 
the um, two faculty student advisors responsible for our BSc extended programs on the Mamelodi campus, Ms. Ida Meyer and Mr. Vincent Mabuza. And then we also have our undergraduate student administration members responsible for undergraduates and you're likely to interact with these people quite a bit in the next few, in the next few weeks. We've got Ms. Johanna Mashaba, Ms. Hinda van Vieren, Ms. Gloria Bosuga, Ms. Londiwe Hadebe, Ms. Rebecca Kumalo and Mr. Jacob Mpshe. We've also got members in the student administration responsible for postgraduate studies and I think over time you'll get to know these people as well. Ms. Kathy Barnard, Ms. Emily Mokele, Dalian Fushier and Ms. Dina Mukaba. There's also a, an active student body, this is what we refer to as Nat House. So Nat House has an academic home guardian, Dr. Carl Wistazen, and then we've got the student representatives on Nat House, the chairperson, Stefan Steenkamp, and then the vice chairperson for the different portfolios, uh, as you see on the screen there. Please utilize Nat House and see this as your home and your first channel for raising concerns and, uh, and thinking about opportunities. There's the other members of, of Nat House, Please take note of their names. In addition, every department has academic student advisors and there is also a group of faculty student advisors to assist you. Their contact details will be shared with you in the orientation documentation. UP follows a hybrid teaching model. That means that some of the teaching and learning you have to do at your own pace online and other elements of the teaching and learning happens face-to-face -face on campus. How much face-to-face -face activities we are allowed to have is determined by national legislation. We do detailed planning for different scenarios of lockdown and where we do plan to have face-to-face -face activities, the groups are small and we prioritize safety and health. For this reason, under the current lockdown conditions, we prioritize senior undergraduates, final year undergraduates and postgraduate activities for selected on-campus activities. It is most likely that the majority of your classes will be online when you start and we hope to adapt our teaching mode as the national legislation allows us and the pandemic becomes less of a crisis. A few final thoughts. First, to the parents and guardians. Support the student in your home. They are climbing a big mountain. Be informed about their progress. All students get regular feedback, so do not wait until the end of the year to hear things have gone wrong long ago. If things do go wrong, reach out to lecturers, classmates, or student support services. If you identify the problem early, then it is fixable. The experience of studying challenges students physically and mentally. Physical and mental health are equally important and support for both is available on campus. To the students, find out what support services are there for you academically, mentally and physically. You may need them in a hurry. Become very familiar with the online learning environment. Using this system is where you will pass or fail. Keep an eye out for each other. Not everyone knows when they need help. This is a time of growth, fun and discovery. Experience all of it, but not in a way that jeopardizes the end goal, to graduate. Don't let your experience of growth, fun and discovery limit someone else's experience. And finally, tolerance and respect is the basis for learning the value of diversity. This applies to culture as well as gender. I look forward to seeing you on campus, virtually at first, but hopefully in person later on. Goodbye.